morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, which is also on Facebook. If you want to go over there and like the page and click follow, you will be sent messages every week from Facebook telling you when the newest videos come out. And here's what we'll be working on for today. I took this glass honey jar and mulberry paper and these images from a site called Blackberry Designs. I'll put the link below for a video on how to remove the label from these jars. And I wanted to cut out uh, an oval type shape for this image. So I just used this bottle and I placed it on top of the image. Several of these images come on this sheet from Blackberry Designs. So I cut this out. And I'm going to tear as many little pieces off of this mulberry sheet as I think I need for this jar. And what I would like to do is center the image onto the bottle and then I'm going to frame it with the paper. I'll do the same thing this on the paper backside. is very thin. It's, it's uh, similar to a tissue paper. It's more firm and it's nice and lightweight for decoupage. So you put the decoupage glue down. You want to go a little lighter than that. Place your image down and you want to make sure with this type of tissue paper that you're pressing out any air bubbles or wrinkles. It's different than a napkin. And then you want to apply decoupage glue. Now I'm putting decoupage glue, Mod Podge, around the image to frame it. And I'm using a fine artist's brush after I apply it. I use the fine artist brush and I dip it in water because it helps the tissue paper, this mulberry paper, it helps it to sink in to any ridges or grooves on the bottle. So I'm going to go around this whole bottle and do the same thing on the back. Just keep applying the tissue paper, the mulberry paper, I'm sorry, all around the front and the back. going up to the edge of the jar but I am not going to decoupage over the area where you'd normally put the lid because I'm putting something else there. And when you're all done just go around the piece and make sure You've covered everything, and once you're satisfied with that, I'm going to sit this upside down in front of the heat vent to dry. I have not tested these papers or the mulberry paper to see if they hold up in the oven. Sometimes they can discolor, so I'm not going to put it in the oven. I'm going to put it aside to dry. Now that this is dry, I'm going to add a coating of Mod Podge over the whole thing. I'm using the matte Mod Podge on this one, and you may want to decide before you do this if you want a matte coating, a satin, or the very high gloss. Sometimes for a more vintage look, 
I will tend to use the matte finish. So I'm going to cover this whole thing and put it aside to dry. Now that it's dry, I'm taking this Ranger ink. It's a distressing technique and I'm just going to pounce this around a little bit. Now that that's dry, I'm going to add some craft glue. They also make glitter glue. And I'm going to just put it in spots all around the bottle and put some glitter over the top of this. And I'm using the Martha Stewart Coarse Glitter. If you'd like, you can also paint the lid. I used the Martha Stewart multi-surface paint and glittered it in case I wanted to use the lid, but I did not. I took this trim and I added some glue. This is the E6000 glue. You can use fabric glue, but this E6000 holds forever. And I put this around the area there where the lid would normally go, glued it on. And then I took some more of that E6000 glue. First I secured that. I took some more of the E6000 glue and put it underneath that because I wanted to put some tiny pearl strings around. And by the way, on my blog, every week I write a blog about the video and I have links to every single one of these products so that you can buy all of the products on my website. You can buy some of the products or you can buy none of the products. That's up to you. I just want you to be able to find them if you need the supplies. I added a little bit more trim around the inside here. The top right there, I wanted to put a little bit more of a pearl accent there. And then I added my blush brushes once everything dried so this is my place to store my blush brushes it's a nice little feminine touch in the bedroom and I've also done this for paint brushes you can use it for whatever you want in the meantime thank you so much for subscribing if you've got any questions please feel free to ask me uh, don't forget to check out my blog at Upcycle with Decoupage. I'll put the links below for that and the video on how to remove labels in case you need it. And thanks a lot, guys. I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.